Hey, was geht? Can a PC from 13 years ago beat a M1 Max? Today we're gonna find out. First, we should know that the HP Z800 is a workstation. It is specifically designed for tasks such as video post production. So since recently, we need to add another editing spot in our studio. First, let's check out the current specs. The only thing we're gonna upgrade is probably the graphics card. The most important thing that counts is the graphics card. That one will handle the render and export times the most. So here I found an old RTX 2070 graphics card laying around. Ah! This graphics card needs more power, so therefore we added this power adapter. From 6-pin to 8-pin. With Windows computers, the junk and cache files do grow very fast. Therefore it's important that our main drive has enough space. Then we add a classic SSD from Samsung Evo, 1TB. Yeah, I couldn't quite secure it, so I just took a lens cap. What? I know! <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take a look at the Z800 to see why it is classified as a workstation, unlike consumer products. Its structural design is very clear and simple to use. And look here how it helps the airflow. We can see to get to each component you don't need any tools. Normally some power cables are not being used, they usually tangle around or you need to have like zip ties and so on, but they actually have empty slots where you can just put them in. A lot of Apple users love to use cheap Windows computers to do comparison with Mac, but this is unfair. If you spend enough money on a proper workstation, a Windows can be as well built as a Mac. It's just different target customers. And I forgot that it doesn't have any Type-C ports. Therefore, we added a USB Type-C PCIe card. Here we install it, and we should also give it Now let's open up the computer, install the OS, and also its softwares. Now let's open up this project and see its export time. On the left we have the previous specs, on the right we have the new specs. Wow! And now let's compare it with the M1 Max. Of course M1 Max is faster, that wasn't a surprise. But guess what? The ME Max gave us a surprise. This revolutionary technology allows the transmitter and, and when we take a closer look, we can see that there are some corrupt frames in the final export. Of course, next thing we did is we updated Premiere to the latest version. When we click on export, it gets stuck or is very slow. Even when changing the settings takes like ages. Sometimes it doesn't even work at all, we can't export. So ridiculous. Piece of And that is a result of M1 computers currently not being fully compatible with Premiere software. This is really annoying, especially for editors who are already up late and have to finish a project and it's the last thing you want to deal with when finishing an export, to re-import, fix, and then export again. So therefore, the Windows computer is theoretically actually faster. So yeah, don't randomly just believe those Macs are perfect for video production, tech review, YouTube videos. This is the actual result. A 13-year-old computer actually beating the M1 Max.